Ever stumbled upon a magic formula that could turn the unpredictable market tide in your favor every single time? Today, we're unraveling a sorcery so powerful that it's been hailed as the key to beating the market every time. This magic formula isn't just a game changer. It's your gateway to unlocking a realm where market gains are not just dreams but a vivid reality. As we go deeper into this video, we'll unveil the essence of this magic bit by bit, keeping the most exhilarating part veiled until the very end. Are you ready to transcend the ordinary and enter the extraordinary realm of endless market victories? Stay tuned. As the magic unfolds, your financial world is about to be spellbound. Charlie Munger is the underappreciated half of Berkshire Hathaway. Not many have heard of him. While Warren Buffett deserves much of the credit for making Berkshire Hathaway into a global powerhouse, he is only half of the equation. The second is Charlie Munger. Many people are interested in discovering Charlie Munger's journey to becoming one of the world's greatest investors. Buffett holds Charlie Munger in high regard. Saying of him, he sees the essence of everything before you can finish the sentence and calling Munger's mind the best 30-second mind in the world. Monish Pabrai considered Munger to be a quantum leap in intelligence over Warren, and Bill Gates called him the broadest thinker he had ever met. So how did it all begin? Charlie Munger, who was born in Omaha, Nebraska, started working in the grocery industry when he was just a teenager by assisting at the Buffett and Amp Sun Store, which belonged to Warren Buffett's grandfather. After graduating from high school, Munger enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps, where he studied meteorology and was eventually promoted to the rank of second lieutenant. He never finished his mathematics degree at Michigan. By some miracle, Munger was accepted to Harvard Law School without having completed an undergraduate degree, following in the footsteps of his father and grandfather. After finishing law school, he relocated to Southern California in order to work for a large law firm. When Munger met Warren Buffett, he made the decision to change careers. It was in 1959 when Munger was 35 years old that he and Buffett first met. Interesting fact, Buffett's grandfather employed Munger, who was born in Omaha. Charlie Munger valued success financially above all else, and his career as an attorney was always a means to that end. Through an investment partnership and managing other people's money, Buffett showed Munger that he could achieve the independence he craved. As a result, Munger changed careers to become a fund manager. This is where the magic happened. From 1962 to 1975, Charlie Munger's investment fund returned 19.8% annually, while the Dow gained only 5.0%. Munger has worked for Berkshire Hathaway since 1978 and is currently the company's director and vice chairman. Even at 99 years old, Berkshire Hathaway's second-in-command, Charlie Munger, is instrumental in helping Buffett make crucial capital allocation calls and oversee the company's $300 billion stock portfolio. His tenure as Daily Journal chairman ended in March 2022. Wesco Financial Corporation, now a wholly owned subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway, operated under his leadership as chairman from 1984 until 2011. Munger is famous for his mental models, which are frameworks that help us make sense of and cope with a world that is much more complex than we usually deal with. Charlie doesn't just evaluate a company's finances in isolation. He also examines the company's inner workings and the larger environment in which it functions. Many fields of study, including history, psychology, mathematics, engineering, biology, physics, statistics, and economics, have contributed to Munger's mental models. According to Munger, we need to be interdisciplinary and educated in a wide range of fields in order to make sense of the complex world in which we live. Charlie Munger once said, you must know the big ideas and the big disciplines and use them routinely, all of them, not just a few. This was in reference to the importance of having robust mental models. 
Most people only know how to approach problems from the perspective of the model they studied in school, such as economics. A man with a hammer sees every problem as a nail, as the old adage goes. This is a ridiculous approach to fixing issues. Different businesses necessitate individualized to-do lists and conceptual frameworks. You need to deduce it for yourself if you want to remember it forever. Charlie Munger's wisdom stems in part from his ability to avoid deceiving himself. According to Munger, the ethic of not fooling yourself is one of the best mental models because of its rarity, which gives it great strength. Most people are their own worst enemy when it comes to investing, as they let their emotions get the better of them during both bull and bear markets. If you want to make money investing, you should do the opposite of what most people do, which is to buy enthusiastically when everyone else is getting rich and sell when the outlook becomes bleak. The host of the Richer, Wiser, Happier series on the TIP network, William Green, calls Munger the grand master of stupidity reduction. Green notes in Richer, Wiser, Happier that Munger makes it a priority to limit his propensity for foolishness on a daily basis, whether it be through thoughtless speech or actions or by avoiding common blunders. All he's trying to do is not be an idiot, which is much more difficult than most people give it credit for. Here we come to one of Munger's pet theories, inversion. Munger is known for flipping problems on their heads in order to find the answer. Munger uses investing as an example to urge others to consider the mistakes that a bad investor would make and to avoid making the same ones. Bad investors frequently engage in behaviors like one, jump on the bandwagon because you have fear of missing out. Two, sell during market crashes because that's when stocks are cheapest. Three, think they can predict market highs and lows with accuracy. Four, act on their immediate feelings when making a choice. Five, pay a lot of money in fines and taxes. Six, Putting money into something they aren't familiar with Munger takes a what-not-to-do rather than what-to-do approach to both investing and life. In his own words, all I want to know is where I'm going to die so I don't go there. Perhaps Warren Buffett would not have developed into the brilliant investor he is today if it weren't for Charlie Munger. Buffett is well known for his famous shift from buying cheap businesses, or cigar butts, to investing in more sustainable enterprises. He changed his mind, largely because of Charlie Munger. Benjamin Graham had a significant impact on Buffett's early investment career because he emphasized the value of having a large margin of safety and not paying too much for a company, both of which encouraged Buffett to buy subpar, but reasonably priced businesses. It took a wise man like Charlie Munger to show Buffett the value of spending a little more on the best companies. If Buffett had to pay even a little bit more for a high-quality company like C's Candy, he would have walked away. Even though Buffett thought $25 million was a lot to spend on a company in 1972, Berkshire Hathaway has generated $2 billion in pre-tax profits for him since they bought it. What makes Buffett and Munger so exceptional is their capacity for ongoing growth, both as investors and as people. If Berkshire has made modest progress, a good deal of it is because Warren and I are very good at destroying our best-loved ideas, Munger said. If you don't destroy one of your most treasured ideas at least once a year, you're wasting your time. Large bets on Coca-Cola in 1988 and Apple in 2016 were two examples of Buffett's shift from purchasing poor and cheap businesses to purchasing quality businesses. Since Buffett took over in 1965, Berkshire Hathaway has amassed an incredible fortune, in Munger's opinion. Charlie Munger is famous among investors for his lack of trading activity. Munger believes that a successful investment career is made from only a handful of decisions. So when he finds a quality business he likes, he usually makes a huge bet and holds it for a very long time. He avoids risky, low-paying starter roles and wagers of any size. 
Although Munger is aware that the stock market is relatively efficient and fairly priced, he still acts massively and bets big when he sees the odds stacked in his favor. Only Berkshire Hathaway, Costco, and a group of Chinese stocks handpicked by Li Lu make up the bulk of Charlie Munger's portfolio. Munger makes sure a company is within his sphere of expertise by researching the industry extensively. When he does find a company within that sphere, he plans to put his money into a well-known franchise that is simple to grasp and can thrive in any economic climate. It is essential that the company has a sustainable competitive advantage, or moat, and that this advantage continues to widen and deepen over time. Charlie Munger is intensely focused on this problem because he wants to own the few companies that can last for decades. Charlie has to exercise a lot of self-discipline and wait for long periods of time before making a decision about which company to invest in. Preparation, discipline, patience, and decisiveness are the four cornerstones of Munger's investment approach, which is otherwise quite involved. According to Benjamin Franklin, one of Munger's major inspirations, if you would persuade, appeal to interest and not to reason. Munger is a vocal advocate for the positive effects of incentives. Successful living, working, and investing all hinge on an understanding of incentives. Take the realm of investments, for instance. Having the company's management team have a vested interest in the company's long-term success The majority of the wealth of Berkshire's management team is invested in Berkshire Hathaway stock, so they benefit from the company's success along with the shareholders. A 2005 edition of Poor Charlie's Almanac states that 90% of Munger's wealth is invested in Berkshire Hathaway. Learning, learning from the life and work of someone like Charlie Munger is extremely valuable. In a nutshell, Charlie Munger is saying that you should never stop learning because it will lead to continuous success. Munger says that to achieve worldly wisdom, we must take an interest in learning throughout our lives and consider information from a variety of perspectives. By constantly expanding our knowledge base, we can better comprehend and value the complexity of our world. In addition to studying the likes of Benjamin Franklin, John D. Rockefeller, and Andrew Carnegie, Munger gleaned knowledge from a wide range of academic fields such as psychology and biology. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take some time to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.